Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Praveena Khatri, and I'm the VP of Marketing here at SwiftType. Today, we're going to be talking about the major limitations around the Google Custom Search Engine product. So let's get started. I'm sure that most of you are aware that Google has announced they're going to be sunsetting their Google Site Search product, which has basically been a, a basic paid site search tool. They also announced last year that they would be sunsetting their Google Search Appliance product, which was a tool used for both public search and internal or enterprise search. One thing we know is that Google's been extremely focused on different goals, as we saw from their last user conference. Site search just isn't going to be a core part of their initiatives, and the GSS will fully shut down in seven months. So what does that mean for GSS customers? Well, Google is now pushing their customers to the free but restrictive custom search engine product. And we're actually hearing quite a bit of feedback from their former GSS customers who've been looking for alternatives. It's one of the reasons why we decided to pull this webcast together, just with the volume of questions and the interest that's come up recently. So while the free price tag might really sound great to you, you honestly get what you pay for. And there are a number of reasons why anyone serious about conversions, marketing, your visitor's experience on your website, why you just shouldn't settle for CSC. One of the major limitations we'll focus on today is, of course, the big one, ads. With the forced move to CSC, site owners are now going to have to deal with third-party ads as part of their search results. And I'll show you what that's going to look like. So you would think that if a visitor searched for something on your site, they'd get back results from your site. That's actually not true with this product. This to me is probably the biggest thing that you're gonna have to accept if you settle for the custom search engine product. The fact that ads from third parties are now gonna be a part of your search results. You hear about this, but it's actually incredibly shocking when you see it visually. And one of the reasons I have a hard time with this is just because as a marketer, my brand's really important to me, and I want an experience for my visitors that'll keep them on my site, not frustrate them and drive them away. And if you look at this example here on the right-hand side, I went to a travel blog and I searched for the word Italy, and I don't even see search results from the actual website in this frame. All I was able to see were these ads for Italy from all over the, all over the internet. So we're so used to being inundated with ads in this day and age, but I really don't want people to see other people's ads on my website. The ad revenue here is just benefiting Google and not really your company at all. And this actually gets worse. Where it really hurts is if your competitors are bidding on the same terms that people are searching for on your site, which is quite likely. So your visitors are actually going to see competitive ads on your own site. And to me, that's something that you just can't settle for because it really kills your brand experience. Another limitation is just the limited amount of customization that the custom search engine product offers you. And if you care about customization, which a lot of people I talk to do, then this next section is really going to resonate with you. So another distraction that your visitors will face is the fact that search results from custom search look a lot like search results from Google. And if a user tries to conduct a search on your site, the combination of those third-party ads I talked about and the look of the results page makes it seem like they're not even on your site anymore. And depending on how you've implemented it, I've been on sites that will completely take me off my own website or off the website that I'm visiting and lead me to a Google search results page. So now not only are you frustrating visitors because they can't find what they're looking for, but you've just completely removed them from your site as well. Another piece of just the limited customization that we see is Google's crawler. So the Google bot, it doesn't allow you to schedule crawls on your own site. In fact, they actually say it right here. We care more about having the best possible results because in the long run, that's what's best for users and therefore our business. So not your business, but Google's business. And this isn't something that we made up. We actually took a screenshot directly from their site. I think it's especially damaging for a website that puts out time-sensitive content. So if you're a new site or you know, maybe you're a university that's just released some new school year information, it's really important that you have your most recent content surfacing in your search results. 
And you really should have that level of control when you're providing a search experience on your website. So my main point here is you shouldn't let Google decide which content is best for your business. In fact, you should have full customization of the search experience on your website. And customization isn't just about making your results page look pretty, but it's just branding that's extremely important to the overall experience. Uh, because you want users to stay on your site as long as possible, you want to maximize the reach that your content has. So if someone's looking for a piece of information on your website, I wouldn't hide the search bar. I would make it front and center or just in a place where they're more likely to find it if they're not able to navigate through your menu bar. And then if you can provide your visitors with a, with a search experience that shows them you know what they want without cramming ads down their throat, then they're probably more likely to spend time on your site. Another piece of control that you should be looking for is a lot of times the organic rankings of search results aren't helpful. So maybe they'll highlight the most popular content, but if it doesn't actually match what your visitor's looking for, it really doesn't do any good. And so if you have the ability to customize your result rankings, you can help your users find what they're looking for faster and it also helps you promote the content that you want to. So in marketing, I see this as a game changer. You know, imagine if you could highlight your best content, your most popular product, or your best offer in your actual search queries. I think this level of customization is something that you should expect from a site search tool. And a recent, or a couple of examples that I'd like to share, uh, one was with the university website. And it's one I hear often where common search terms should return very accurate results because you're catering to so many different audiences. You know, at a university, you're catering to students, prospective students, faculty, alumni, parents. And when a student searches for catalog, it's important that the most recent links for catalog are shown. Not necessarily the most viewed or clicked on, because maybe that could be something from last year, especially if you're running into a new school year. Uh, or when an alumni searches for specific terms, being able to promote, for example, your donations link is a win-win. And one of my favorite stories I wanted to point out here is the city of Wilson. The city of Wilson recently experienced Hurricane Matthew. And their citizens were searching for things like road closures, power outages, and what they were able to do with their site search product was actually rank results in real time to help their community in a time of need because they were able to see these search analytics real time and they were able to provide and rank content based on what people were searching for. Another limitation of the custom search engine product that I wanted to talk about was just a lack of support. So this may or may not be a concern for certain businesses. You know, Google has a large help center. It's full of a lot of articles, great content. And it's going to help you with your basic needs. But if you're looking for more detailed information on implementation or customization, you might actually find what you need in those articles. But if you don't have the technical knowledge that's required to make those changes, you're likely going to need some more help. And myself, frankly, when I look at vendors, this one's a big deal for me. If I have a website launch planned and my search doesn't look the way that it should, I actually want to be able to talk to someone or receive an immediate answer. And, you know, maybe I have a blog or certain domains that are not showing up in my results. I would rather have someone help me through that versus digging through information. So everyone's different. I think it's important to look at the tools um, or look at tools that provide you with different channels of support, whether that be phone, email, chat, and also have the option to look at self-service documentation. And then finally, let's talk a little bit about the uncertainty of Google site search products. So more importantly, will the custom search engine product be around in five years? In the last five years, Google's been eliminating products that aren't core to its business or that have just become unpopular or redundant. And after a series of site search products that they sunsetted, so let's walk through those, the Google Mini in 2012, the Google Search Appliance in 2016, and Google Site Search Now in 2017, a lot of GSS customers have expressed concern about the lifespan of custom search engine and how long it'll be supported. 
So we've often heard our customers have frustrations over having to replace their site search solution over and over again. In fact, I spoke to someone this month who signed up with GSS in February, they implemented it, and then they learned it would be discontinued two months later, which is disappointing. And now they're going through the same process with SwiftType and they've implemented, and luckily they're in a much better place today. And we want to ensure that this doesn't happen to you. So SwiftType is offering a custom feature complete GSS migration package. SwiftType is a leading GSS alternative, offering companies an extensive level of power, customization, and control, all the things that we've talked about today. And our migration package does come at a special price, and it includes everything you need for a really smooth transition. So we've seen customers migrate in a matter of hours or depending on their complexity in a matter of days. Just a little bit of background on SwiftType. We were founded in 2012 as a search platform, powering both site search and enterprise search for companies. Uh, we are venture funded by the Y Combinator and NEA, and we are the largest dedicated site search provider on the internet. So we power millions of search engines and billions of search queries, and we have over a thousand cu customers in our portfolio. And a quick look at some of those customers, you might recognize some of the, the logos here, but our customers vary across many different industries. Uh, we do specialize in education, government, media publishing, tech, and e-commerce. And I'd also like to point out just a couple of these G2 Crowd quotes that we've pulled in here. I encourage you to visit g2crowd.com and take a look at the Swift type reviews. You'll really get a sense of what it was like for previous GSS customers to migrate to SwiftType. Uh, they go into detail in their reviews on what it was like evaluating how their implementation went and what their results have been. And I think it'll really help you during this migration process. So with that, I would like to thank everyone for joining us today. Uh, we are happy to answer any questions that you might have. Please email us at sales at swifttype.com or visit our website. We do offer a free 14-day trial, which is a great way to get started and start to sort of get a sense of the product and how your search results can show up on your website. Thanks again for joining us.